All right, in this lesson, we are going to talk about the sum and difference of cubes. So we already did an example where we calculated or factored, sorry, uh, the expression x cubed plus eight. And then there's another one underneath where I had already worked out eight x cubed minus 27 using the same method as the previous one. So I'm just going to take a look at the answers to the two questions. So the first one, we started with the expression x cubed plus eight, and it factored down to x plus two times x squared minus two x plus four. And then the second expression that I did that we did not do together was eight x cubed minus 27, and it factored down to two x minus three times four x squared plus six x plus nine. And in both cases, that second bracket did not factor any further. So this first one is something known as a sum of cubes. It is two terms being added, that's why it's a sum, and x cubed is a cube, and eight is two to the power of three, so it is two cubed. So they are both perfect cubes. If I look at the second one, I have eight x cubed minus 27. This is a difference of cubes, it is subtraction instead of addition, and eight is two to the power of three, and 27 is three to the power of three. So all of those things are perfect cubes. So what I would like you to do is take a second and think about how you could go from the original question just to that first bracket. We're not worrying about the second bracket, but how could you go from x cubed plus eight and get x plus two how could you go from 8x cubed minus 27 to 2x minus 3? I will give you a second to ponder. Okay, well 8 is 2 to the power of 3, 8 is 2 to the power of 3, and 27 is 3 to the power of 3. So to get this bracket, all you really need to do is the third root or the cube root of x cubed to get x, and then the third root or the cube root of eight to get two. You would do the cube root of eight to get two, the cube root of x cubed to get x, and the cube root of 27 to get three. So just like with the difference of squares, we square root each term, here we are doing the cube or the third root of each term. You'll also notice that the bracket, sorry, the sign here in between the terms matches the sign in that bracket. So to get the first bracket, all we do is we cube root each of these terms, right? So this is the cube root of that, right? And same thing from here to here, I would cube root to get that. Now the second bracket, that's a different story. So to get the second bracket, the first term is just the first term in the bracket squared. So x squared is x squared. 2x squared is four x squared, right? Because two squared is four and x squared is x squared. The last term comes from squaring the last term. So two squared is four and then negative three squared is positive nine. So anytime you square a number, it becomes a positive. That's why these are both positive. Now the middle term comes from multiplying these two together. X times two is two X, and then two X times three is six X, but you will notice that the sign is the opposite of what was in that bracket. So sum and difference of cubes is really a shortcut just like difference of squares is a shortcut. So it's a shorter way of doing what otherwise is an awful lot of work. But the shortcut itself is a little strange. So if I have a cubed plus b cubed, I would take the cube root of the first term, so that would just be a, the cube root of the second term, that would be b, and I leave the sign the same. And then in the second bracket, I take this first one and I square it. So I get a squared. I take the last term and I square that. That would be b squared. And anytime you square something, it's always positive. 
right? A positive times a positive is a negative. Negative times a negative is a negative. Sorry, positive. So anytime you square something, it always comes out as a positive. And then I multiply these two together, so A times B, but I need it to be the opposite sign. So if this is plus, that one is minus, right? If that's what's going to make all those middle terms cancel out. And it's just like a difference of squares, right? We always have one that's plus and one that's minus. This part here is always plus because anytime you square something, it's always a positive. All right, the difference of cubes works exactly the same way, except the sign is different. So I would cube root the first term, that would be A. I would cube root the second term, that would be B. And then I would match the sign that's already there. So that's A minus B. I would square the first term in the bracket, so A squared. I would square that second term, so I would get B squared, and it would be positive because when we square a number, we always get a positive. And then I would multiply A times B is AB, but I need it to be the opposite sign of this, so it's going to be 